Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 19. Here on Spectacle Island 19, or Spectacle Island, I don't know why I keep calling it 19. Folks, this is what happens when you save your game and you uh, come back in. And uh, well, let's just say you brick. I know there goes my phone. And it's 12.02 and a.m. Yeah, it's, it, it's after midnight, folks. My phone still goes off. But anyway, I just want to bring you back because we got a little bit of rain coming again. We need to go ahead and feed our animals and go through midnight. Oh, we got some bales we got to sell real quick, too. That's another reason I'm bringing you back. I forgot about them. But I just want to say... Uh, it's your host with not the most, Mr. Blue, a.k.a. Tommy Miller. Folks, how y'all doing? I hope y'all are doing good. Oh, one actually locks. Huh. Well, the rest of these was auto-loaded, so that's why they went flying everywhere. But I am doing okay. I hope y'all are. I just want to say it uh, uh, should be episode 36, and... And, um, yeah, November the 1st, episode 36. I just hope y'all had a happy Halloween. And if you didn't, well, happy Halloween to you anyway. Uh, I'm just, I'm just messing. Uh, let's see, take these belts off, I think. Yeah, that will. Uh, gotta get this load finalized. And I got one to transport company to take and finalize it. And then we can accept just about all of our stuff. Let's go ahead and see if we can do that. There we go. Start a truck. I'm going to hit U, B, and number three to take off. I don't want to hit the, uh, keep the U on because it might all of those some pallets that I don't want to. You know what I mean? But I did get uh, Dan from 3D Outdoors to do some coveting. And uh, that's one of our contracts. Alright, transport finish. We're back up to 794,000. Now you're probably wondering where, wasn't, wasn't I at 900,000 somewhere? Yes, folks, I was. Um, let's go in here real quick. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. That's the wrong one. Uh, transport. To observatory to uh, transport to the place where I'm at now. I'm getting tongue tied. Complete bakery, uh, windmill to bakery is complete. The coveting we can do is complete. These two, I have to wait a minute. Uh, that brings up to 824,000. Let me uh, get to the spot where I need to be and uh, I'll explain more about why I can't finalize those two missions right now. Be right back. All right, I told you I'd be right back. What, well, you thought I was going to stay gone for long? This truck here is part of a contract mission. Uh, one of the potato harvester ones. And see, I really... Yeah, that'd be right. I want this as short as possible. And that way I can extend out as it loads the potatoes. Now I'm going to move this truck on out a little bit. Uh, we have uh, 109,771 potatoes and I think that is mainly off of the uh, two fields of her 13 and 15. Now this truck this is 195,720 liters and this is off of uh, That thing is so loud. That's, that's why I paused there for a second. All right, we're gonna do unload here. I know the, uh, oop, oop, pull up, pull up, pull up. We can't do a big pile. I don't know, let's back up, try to get a bigger pile here. Okay, okay. I gotta keep it moving forward a little bit. 
All right, let's back up and try to get another big pile without hitting the ceiling. Without hitting the ceiling, Mr. Blue. Okay. What I like about this, this truck keeps uh, unloading, even though it does pause a little bit there. Okay, that's, that's getting unreal there. <laughs> I want a big pile, but I don't want to go truck going through the roof if you know what I mean all right now we are empty and that's probably some smash potatoes there there's our log trailer we're gonna be needing that here pretty soon uh, I can tell y'all about that later so I'm just gonna park this truck about right here because we're gonna be needing it again shut that and off Alright, I'm going to go ahead and turn this belt on here. Which it, it does this. It's already on, but it's not on. Let's see. Start engine. Turn belt. Yeah, I've been noticing uh, it does this with peanut too. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. I'm going to back up this a little bit there. I'm going to turn the belt off. And uh, our potato washer here is loaded. Uh, we just got to go get some water for it. You see there, uh, it turns through here. The motor here turns this big old cage, soaks some water, it washes them off and stuff. And this here sorts them again. And then they, you can unload them here. But I need another conveyor belt, which I think I'm going to take the one from the sullage. Well, let's get this other truck unloaded. This is what I need unloaded because of uh, getting that last contract there finished. Get straight right here. I don't know how. I think this does about like the other truck. Okay. So it's got a door on the back. We got to watch out for. Oh, that's as far as I can go. Kind of move it forward here. You gotta watch see when they uh, stop doing and that's when you move forward a little bit oh we're going outside the shed here which I think we should be good on the potatoes in a way all right there it is now we can put this trick up or well we're not gonna put it they're gonna come get it I'm gonna shut it off we're gonna go in here to our uh, tablet and tell them, hey, we want our money. So, harvesting field 13 was potatoes. Uh, as you can see, we leased a potato thing on that. And, and field 15, we didn't. So, that's why I ain't no leasing costs. So, we're going to collect those two. And, uh, I, oh, we got cultivating on field. Oh, two. Okay, I know the bakery. We're going to do that. They, they love getting their bread. Um, we already got our tractor and stuff down there, so I'm just going to accept contract on both of those. And there's other transport to Small Work Village. And that looks like it's going to be all of them for right now. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get uh, Dan on the uh, tractor cultivating, and I'm going to get Christy on the truck and getting some of those transports done so uh yeah be right back all right well dan and chrissy is doing the uh jobs i assigned them i think i said dan was doing the covet and chrissy's doing the uh tra transport contracts uh we're gonna be loading some hay in this trailer i know this ain't what we're supposed to do with this trailer but our mixer is low so uh, we're gonna drop some in here and we're also gonna to have to go get some straw so that's where we need uh, another tractor which we got one we can use that one stay there we can use the this in here that we got this, uh, Oh, and we gotta go sell some uh, some uh, 
bells too I forgot we had by the BGA so okay I think one fell off yep we get over to the our mixer all right maybe that's an unload ramp I doubt it now let me try the back rain door back door No, it ain't gonna do it. I can get up here, see, away from Matt. I load here. Ah, always gonna make me fight it. But folks, uh, I hope y'all are doing okay today. Uh, don't have much going on. Um, I got some bad news though. Uh, you know, our soybeans and corn are gonna be coming off probably tomorrow next day hopefully well we uh the barges the barges ain't moving and uh we need a corn header so we'll be able to do our soybeans but we won't be able to do our our uh corn because we don't have a header for it uh john said as soon as he can get something to come in how is so uh yeah I don't know where we're gonna stand on that let's see let's get this trailer here we're gonna load it with straw and bring some back uh, all our straws on field seven and we need some put back in our shed over there too all right be right back all right folks we're gonna load up these bales here on the side let's see here operating position that should be auto load right there i just love auto load there oh looky there oh looky there and we're not quite full okay i'm gonna get out and throw a few on there i need to exercise a little bit today anyway matter of fact i don't think i showed y'all but i actually stacked uh, what two yeah be two rows right here and then started on this one and I was going to put all these here that I just loaded over here but I figured it'd be too much of a, a good thing so I just left them like they was see I like this mod uh, if you can come up there and look 21 bales 75% tells you exactly how much on there. I like it. Oh, we can go quite a high on there. One, two, three, four, four high. Cool. Let's see if I can get two at a time. See if I can, oh, without messing up something. A little bit slower, but might be a little bit faster. Who knows? Nah. Uh, 27. I don't know how much I hold. 28 or 30. 28. 100% full. And it does that. I don't like it doing that. I wish, uh, it wouldn't do that. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, unload bells here. Yes. Then we're going to strap them. And probably cause a chaos. But yeah, we got rain in the picture. So that's why I'm trying to hurry up and get this done tonight. So I figure, you know, I have recorded three episodes in one day. So, uh, why not? <laughs> anyway, I'll be right back, folks. Alright. Man. It started raining across the bridge. I'm like, all the straw out so I guess what I'm going to do is uh, unload it right here let's see unload slide this over I can't remember what size these bales are so I don't know how much it's going to take unload there oh not very much at all transporting and operation again Try to pick some of these up without picking these solid bells over here up. 
All right, I'm going to back this trailer into the barn. And I'll catch you here in a minute. Okay, this is one good thing about this trailer. Boom. Bells unloaded. Pull out for a second. I want to show you something. Of course, this is what hay bales we got left. I'm going to take this and put around here. Easily get into uh, our stru uh, bleh, our grass bales we had in here disappeared. So I don't know why the hay hasn't. Ain't nothing been gone out of it. And the other shelter on field seven, uh, all the straw is still here. So I guess the the grass. If I said hay bales where I go, the grass bales disappeared. Um, it went down to 6,000 liters and then all of a sudden it just went bye-bye. Well, let me get this part and uh, I gotta go to see where Dan and, and Christy's at and I'll be right back. Alright, loading up some silage here. Or trying to. I sent Christy home. She got the last uh, contract done, so I ain't no use in taking no more today. So, uh, left it at that. I just had to restart it. Okay. And look like it's getting all of that. I'm going to turn it just a little bit and pull it up for next time. Extend my thing out as far as I can. Okay. But we're going to be, uh, well, I'm going to be dumping this, y'all ain't, into the, uh, the silo. It can still hold a little bit more, so, well, actually, I'm going to take, let's see, right side, okay. I wish we had a bigger trailer. Um, our straw's full, or silage should be pretty good after this. Let's see, yeah, it's going to be good enough. If it was under 22 or something like that, I would take it. It only holds 30,000 per thing, so. Oh, yeah, I almost filled it. So now all we got to do is get some hay bales in there. I wish it had a top to it. But it's, it's got a, some kind of thing there that keeps it from getting wet, so that's good. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I did make it. I wish it wouldn't do that. Alright okay, guys, my fault. Extend it out too far. Oh, don't get it in the bucket. Alright, uh, Dan's almost done. He uh, likes a little bit over there. He says the rain ain't hitting that hard yet, so he's going to go a little bit further. I want to try to get some more of this in the silo, and I will be right back in a second, folks. I would have shut the door. Alright folks, it is really coming down now and I am trying to figure out this truck. I, I think that's going to cause a real bad uh, real bad turnout there, so I won't do it like this. Okay, as you can see, zero. I got 72 in there, it's processing. I hope the front of this truck is uh is a uh, pushing approved because uh don't have the tractor down here. Okay, we are full at 120. 120,000 liters. All right, hit you again. Should put us back in auto mode. And we're going back up. Get the rest of these here. And that's all of our bales we're going to sell. The rest of us we're going to keep. Oh, what is my frame rate? 22. Um, that big plow, we're going to have to hurry up and get done with it because I have a feeling that's what's causing me to have uh, these issues. Because, uh, let's see, HD has completed. Oh, Dan's completed uh, his task. Okay, good. I was beginning to wonder on that. 
Alright, uh, Y. And then we're just going to leave it alone. We're going to push. Right there. See, we get 60 frames this way. We'll look over towards that way. And then it starts. Oh, now it's going to make me a liar. But it's that plow, because that's the only thing I started having problems with is when we got that plow. Let's see, I am five times forward, so let's go a little bit more. Because I want y'all to see the midnight prices, but I got to do this before we do the midnight prices. Um, maybe a little bit faster. There we go. Boy, I don't like pushing it, but it's trying. I, don't, I hope it uh, processes them before midnight. I want to get like the grand total. Is it going to be close? Alright, slow it down a couple. I'm going to back this up while that's processing. Get this trailer because I'm fixing a boogie back home when I get done here. And uh, I just want to make sure we get everything away from here in case somebody else needs a storage. But, uh, huh. yeah, uh, I think I'm on one on this island, by the way, it seems like. But there are some other people here and there. Okay, um, go in. There you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's check this real quick. Um, yeah, after, after this little shower, it's supposed to be good. Look like all day Tuesday. But then again, Wednesday, we got some more rain and skips Thursday and Friday and rain and snow. Um, pigs are up to 32. I think you all seen that last time, but I need to feed them. Sheep's doing good. Chickens, I got to feed probably before I go to bed. Uh, goats doing okay. And cows are doing okay. Need some TMR, but I got that in the mix. So, uh, yeah, let's fast forward time here just a little bit more so y'all can see the uh, midnight prices. And then uh, I'm going to do some stuff off screen, like feed animals. And then uh, I'm going to take my booty to bed. Oh, it is. All right, I'll bring y'all back here in a minute. Okay, I come back down here and check. It's all been uh, processed. And uh, yeah, so uh, I'm going to get the truck back. But before I go, I'm going to go on a tablet. And I noticed that uh, digestate. We got 308,575 308, liters of digestate, folks. Wow. I just happened to scroll through and I saw that number going up and I'm like, oh man, I was stupid. My answer's right here, knowing how much in the tank. Gotta get a thing of water for the potatoes on my way in. And then uh, I'll see y'all in the morning. Oh, oh, I'll see you at midnight when the price is. almost forgot. Uh, back down in here and looking at that back uh, greenhouse there don't have no poop or poo left in it. This one has got a little bit, as you can see, uh, 39 water and 19 manure. Uh, same thing on that one. And this one here. It's the same thing. And our mixer, one of our inputs is empty. Yay, probably the hay. I didn't put very much back in it. Uh, okay, good. We got some water in here. Maybe it'll be enough. We're going to go get the potato washer. Um, some, some water to wash with. And folks, I know this was a very short episode. Well, not short, but... Uh, didn't do much in it. Let's see. Let's turn on some more lights here so we can see. Should be a water trigger right here. Oh, there we go. And look like it started working. Automatic. All right. A lot of potatoes, folks. A lot of potatoes. 
But we're, I've been what? See? Y'all go back. There was two trucks sitting here, and this planter was sitting straight, and now it's done turn. This works. Uh oh. I don't, I don't know. We'll find out. I didn't have the problem to. Uh, um, there's a big long plow and something else. The grading equipment. Here all the potatoes getting washed. Going out this side. There's a hopper get full. And then uh, we can unload into a trailer. But there's some other things I have to get. I need a. Uh... Oh, our midnight price is 62618 bio gas plant income, folks. All right, come on. Let the rest of it. 12,076 vehicle leasing costs, 68 vehicle running costs, 201 property maintenance, and 9,496 property income. Didn't we have like $20,000 or something? Oh, the greenhouse is out of poo on the back one, but it wouldn't have been that much, would it? I don't know. We have to go back and watch the other video. I'll tell you what, while y'all watching the other videos, y'all tell me what the price was. Um, but anyway, let me, uh, I need another conveyor belt to put here, and then, uh, we got two more things to put here, let's see, I'll go, oh, nope, no, I gotta go right here, and go over, well, this is, oh, this is the, these are the belts that I can get, and, um, This belt does sellage and stuff. So I might, I don't know. I know I get it or get one of these other ones. Uh, Stevie's belts are pretty good and they rotate. So I might be able to use that to my advantage. Uh, from watching another YouTuber, Dagron. He had something set up like this. Uh, ours are going to be something similar. I think this is done pumping more. Oh, oh it used quite a bit. Um, get this filled up later. Probably get Dan or Christy do it in the morning. I think I need to go to bed. Oh, don't want Dan to have a dead battery in the morning. Or, or actually, Christy. Christy was driving this. Um, yeah, we'll let this run tonight. And in the next episode, uh, hopefully it'll be time to harvest the soybeans. And John from the dealer will have us some good news on the corn header and Betsy and them I wonder if we got any milk yet I need to give them some water too by the way uh, let's jump the oh nope nope got to go in here open this door I believe yes no milk yet okay of course it ain't been a, a full year yet either so we should be having some cow babies here before long. Straw's good and all the other stuff. I did give them uh, pigs. Why are they so dirty? There's nothing over there. Uh, sheep's good. Chickens are good. I filled them up. And the cows are good. Um, might just need to top everybody off with water. Let's go check on the pigs real quick. I want y'all to see. Oh, I have my light on. Duh. Okay, there's one spot. Where's my bucket? My bucket's way over here. One spot that's dirty, and it can't be that dirty. Don't spill it with silage. Spill it. I said don't fill it with silage. 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 Okay, watch, watch, watch this. This ain't very much. You can't even see it. Is it invisible? Wait, see if they're so full, I can't put it back in their trough. Then we're gonna let it sit there. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna do like they're doing. Oh, you have to see that one lay down. That one just lay down. Oh, that one's getting up. That one's laying down. 
That's good enough. Oh, that is awesome. I never paid attention to them laying down and getting up and stuff. Let's go get them water before I forget, and then we'll end this video, folks. Be sure and check out the links down below to all the other awesome YouTubers that help support me in some way and form or fashion. Whew, that was a mouthful. Um, don't forget, Farming Simulator 22. Well, you're watching this, it's going to be... 21 days because uh, it's, it's the first uh, November the 22nd Farming Simulator 22 comes out if you want to help me get that I do have PayPal I do have cash out um, or you can um, I do have a mailing address link down below but most of all folks you really don't have to do nothing except for watching me my channel is not monetized so I will not get money from YouTube but your support of helping me get to 1,000 subscribers or family members as I want to call it and uh, if y'all can help me get to 1,000 by the end of the year and help get my watch time up there that is all I need folks so don't forget to share me with your friends like hit that like button and if you're new please hit that red button it helps me so much folks more than you know uh 607 subscribers as of recording this and um yeah i i, I need to get that thousand mark and we need to start storing wood chips too and one other thing i want to run this by y'all I don't like copying other YouTubers on what they do on their channel and stuff, but sometimes you do do it by accident. But there's one out there. His channel starts with a D. You know who I'm talking about. Realism is key. Uh, I love watching Dagwin videos. Folks, I want to copy him and put a bridge across here. I think it would help us out so much. We can just come around the corner instead of having to go all the way around and cross that bridge down there, which you can't see it, it's about right there. Those lights at. Still going around that way. I put a bridge here, or get somebody put a bridge there, and uh, we can come out over here. It'd be right here. Are we going across here? could see a better view gotta cut down a couple of trees hopefully the forestry won't cure um yeah well be a bridge here and then if we get that bridge there we can put some more straw hay and sullage barns down over here i think it would be awesome folks i keep that in mind oh my god i'm over 30 minutes and i said i told myself i wasn't gonna do it 34 Anyway, this video will not be edited that much. Um, probably just going to take some slow spots out, and that's it. And uh, tell me what you think about it. But anyway, I love each and every one of y'all folks. And um, keep it between the rules. Okay, I'll quit. I'll quit copying the other people. Ugh, it stinks, but it's out. Almost out. Oh. Know what I'll be done tomorrow. Hauling manure. Manure. Anyway, folks, y'all have a great day. A blessed day. And I'm carrying my butt to bed. If I remember where my house is at. Alright. Great day. Blessed day. I'll see y'all next episode. Bye. Y'all can't come in. Toodles.